Live from WROC, this is News 8 at 5. Good evening, everyone. Maureen is off tonight. RIT could soon play a leading role in the war on terrorism. Today, New York Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand announced RIT is up for a $2 million grant to study unmanned drones. Those drones are used in enemy territory to protect our troops and to collect information on terrorists. Tina Shively has been at RIT and is here now with more information. Tina. Well, Kevin, RIT has been working with the military for about 10 years now, developing contracts to streamline operations out in the field. And this time, it may help save lives. $2 million from the U.S. military may soon be on the way to RIT's Center for Integrated Manufacturing Studies. They will research ways to improve the military's unmanned drones and silent surveillance aircraft, both used right now in Afghanistan. We can have uh, uh, far more effective systems uh, to, uh, to run operations, uh, reduce the cost of running those systems, uh, improve the, uh, the reliability of the systems. In many cases that implies that it would uh, basically uh, enhance our ability to complete missions and uh, save lives of soldiers in the field. Not only will the funds help develop the computer systems used to control the drones, it will also help them communicate with each other. The drones may be able to make split-second decisions on their own based on technology they were programmed with. The military could also expand this technology to other uses down the road. It can be extended to um, oil rigs, you know, to be able to monitor, for example, performance uh, of equipment uh, to, um, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, power uh, utility type equipment that are in different locations. It's a high tech collaboration where students will spend many hours at their computers right here in Rochester trying to improve the way things are done on the battlefield. It provides us with tremendous advantage by connecting uh, with the right people at the, at the government uh, who need this technology and be able to get their feedback and work with them to see how we can calibrate what we do here to make sure it meets their needs. Now, the $2 million funding is part of the Defense Department's appropriations bill. It must first be approved by the House and the Senate before President Obama can sign that bill into law. In the newsroom tonight, Tina Shively, News 8. Thank you, Tina.